Friday night fights. Advice time. Great, one, two. You need to knock out the win to fight. Listen to me. Give it to me. Tenth round, and Brian Minto listened to his corner. He's not getting out. I'm Coach Tom Yankello. Don't forget to subscribe to my world-class boxing channel. Slip. Boom. Torque yeah. them hips. Torque them hips. You're killing all those birds in one stone. You slip and shot. Boom. Boom. Now you get all that power on that right side. Whap. Yep. And then you pull them back on the uppercut. See, then it's going to make that one better. When you get one right, then it makes the second one right. Yeah. Get sharp. Let's get sharp. Make this shit sharp. Today's video, I have a pad work drill for you guys, and it's going to be about using slips and weaves, okay? And what we're doing is we're going to have two defensive moves, and then we're going to throw hard shots, just one hard shot, single hard shots in between these defensive moves. So we're going to start off slipping. He's going to slip my jab. He's going to weave underneath my right hand. He's going to come back with a hard hook. Then I'm going to throw a right hand, and then I'm going to throw a left hook. So he's going to slip the right hand and weave underneath the hook, and then he's going to throw a hard right hand. Then I'm going to throw a jab at him. He's going to slip the jab and come with a right uppercut. Then right from there, I'm going to throw a right hand, and he's going to slip a little bit further and be able to throw that liver shot. And then I'm going to come back with a jab, right hand again. So you go right back into the drill. Okay, left hook. Slip the right hand, weave under the hook, right hand, slip the jab, right uppercut, slip the right hand, hook to the body, slip the jab, weave under the hook. Okay, I'm mean, gonna weave under the right hand and throw the left hook. Weave underneath the, weave, uh, slip the right hand, weave underneath the hook. Right hand, slip the jab, right uppercut, slip the right hand, left hook, slip the jab, Weave underneath the hook. Weave underneath the right hand. Throw the left hook. Throw the right hand. Weave underneath the hook. Right hand, okay? So if we start from the beginning, let me go back over the beginning of it. What I'm doing is he's, he's, what he's doing is he's slipping a jab, he's weaving underneath the right hand, and he's coming back with a big hook. I'm gonna throw a right hand at him, and then I'm gonna throw a left hook at him. And what he's doing with that, he's, we he's slipping the right hand, he's weaving underneath the hook. So the defensive move from the beginning, again, it's slip the jab, weave underneath the right hand, okay? Throw a big hook. Now I'm throwing a right hand, he's gonna slip the right hand, weave under the hook, big right hand. Then I'm coming back with a jab and he's gonna throw the right uppercut, okay? And now I'm gonna throw a right hand and he's gonna throw a left hook to the body, see? Then from right there, I'm going to throw that jab at him. He's going to go right back into that. Slipping the jab, weaving underneath the right hand. Left hook. We slip the right hand, weave under the hook. Right hand. S slip the jab, right uppercut. Slip the right hand, left hook to the body. Slip the jab, weave underneath the right hand. Left hook. Slip the right hand, weave under the hook. Right hand. And he's going to slip that jab again, right uppercut. So you can just keep on going, hook to the body. And you, well, like I said, it's not the drill. It's how well you execute the drill with all the body mechanics. So he's trying to really synchronize his hip turn. And he's trying to synchronize his slips and get himself in position to kill all those birds with one stone. So in other words, when he slips that jab, he torques those hips, OK? He's in position to make me have to throw this right hand from a further distance now, okay? Because what he did is he threw that jab. Now I gotta go, I gotta travel further with that right hand. Then he turned them hips. Got his head going back. See, the, the hips turned 
clockwise right there, okay? And then I got I throw the right hand, and he's able to make me come to me. Now he's he's gonna he's bringing me to him, so he's got a better chance on really bringing me into his left hook, okay? So all the body mechanics are the are all the particulars that that make this drill a great drill. It's all about making it and perfecting and executing the body mechanics of it. So he he's slipping, hips are going clockwise. Now he weaves counterclockwise. He comes back clockwise with the hips. Okay, with the hook. Now he's gonna slip the right hand, counterclockwise goes the hips. Okay, now from right there, he's going to weave clockwise. Now he's able to throw a right hand, counterclockwise. Now he's gonna slip again, clockwise. Throws the right uppercut. There he goes again, counterclockwise, okay? And then from right there, he's gonna, I'm gonna throw a right hand at him. He just drops, okay? So his hips are where they're at, when he, throws, when he throws that right uppercut, now he, what he'll do is he'll take it even a little bit further. He'll, he'll go a little bit further counterclockwise with, the, with those hips, okay? And drop the shoulder trajectory. The left shoulder drops and the right shoulder's higher. And he goes and he throws the left hook to the liver, boom. Now he's gonna slip the jab and his hips are gonna go clockwise again, okay? And then he's gonna weave right back into it, hips counterclockwise, throw the hook clockwise, okay? So we're just going right back into it right there. So it looks like this. Like I said, that's a really, a, you can practice that shadow box and all these drills, you can practice shadow boxing and really synchronize everything together in your imagination. And every day when you're in the gym, you try to create these things. So we're, we're, just, we're just creating different uh, situations. Go to the website, uh, worldclassboxinggym.com Get on the email list. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you guys next time.